Today on this 2012 Chrysler 200, we're going to install part number 11133 from Kurt. All right, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on a vehicle. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements that'll help you out in selecting some accessories such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper is going to be four and three quarter inches. And from top of the receiver opening down to the ground is going to be 11 and a quarter inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. Now, first thing we need to do is fish wire a couple of bolts into the frame. We're gonna install the small block and the inch and three quarter carriage bolt. We're gonna pull it through this hole in the frame here and we use our fish wire tool that comes with the kit, we're gonna pull it through this access hole here. But now we're looking at the passenger side of the frame. It's gonna be identical on the driver's side, except there's a few more components uh, attached to the frame. All right, we'll take our block and thread it onto the bolt leader first and push it in the frame. And then we'll take our bolt and thread it onto the bolt leader We'll push that into the frame and pull it on through. Okay, now we're gonna leave our wire pull on here for now. When we slide our hitch in, we'll use that to pull it through the hitch. Now this, the hole closest to the bumper will get the long hex bolt and the larger block. That will get installed from the outboard side to the inboard side. And we'll leave that on the edge just like that for now. Now we're gonna repeat the same process over on the driver's side. All right, now we go ahead and install the hitch. Now you definitely want an extra set of hands to help hold up the hitch while you install the bolts through the hardware. Okay, first we'll take our wire leader and run it through the hitch. Then we'll go ahead and push the hitch up into position. Okay, now we'll take the long bolt and push it through the hitch. And then we'll pull our other bolt through. One of our locking flange nuts. Okay, with all our hardware loosely installed, we can go ahead and tighten it down and then torque the bolts down as specified in the instructions. And with that, that finishes it for our install, part number 11133 from Kurt on our 2012 Chrysler 200.